What's going on guys, this is Gaines Gaming. Today we are going to be going over my KVK that we are just finishing up here. And we are also going to be reviewing what I'm going to be doing with my account after this KVK and what the future is for my account in Rise of Kingdoms. So first of all, we unfortunately did lose this KVK. I'll review the map for you guys real quick. We have been out of Kingsland for a while now. I did live stream us trying to get into Kingsland. We did not have any activity to get into it. We were completely overwhelmed by our enemy 1818 and 2388. We were pushed out fairly quickly out of Kingsland. They right away grabbed our pass and then kind of blockaded us from all of our other entries. We do however have a peace treaty as of right now. We do have a little bit of a skirmish down here just because we have like a kill vent going on in the War of Conquest here. Um, the enemy elimination, just people trying to get points and get high up on the rank. So no war going on anymore, just people trying to fight a little bit and gain points in that. Plus we have the final push in the Mightiest Governor, so people trying to get higher rank in Mightiest Governor also fighting as well. But as of right now, this KVK is over, we did lose, but we do have another 12 days left in this KVK. And so there are still rewards to be had in this KVK. You can see here, like the Zig was just captured just recently. We do have an arrangement with one of our enemy kingdoms, 1818. With the Crusader Fortress, we are going to be getting a Conquest coin. If I go to Crusader Achievements and I go to Coalition, you can see right down here, if your camp controlled one other camp's Crusader Fortress at the end of the event, and you killed or severely wounded 10 million units of other camps, you get a Conquest coin. So this is what I'm staying for, is a Conquest coin. I believe we are only getting one with the arrangement that we have as of right now. And so that will guarantee me at least one Conquest coin. I do also have 22.8 million kills. This is all from fighting, not from just the skirmishes that we have going on right now. I haven't fought at all since Kingsland, and so 22.8 million is my contribution for the KVK. And so that is the amount of kills I got in this KVK. I did fall short of the 30 million mark. I feel like if we had more fighting in Kingsland, I definitely could have gotten there. I had the speed ups and the resources to get there, I just didn't have the fighting to get there. So pretty unfortunate. I am still trying to get up to that 30 million before the end of the KVK so I can get that conquest coin just because these are so valuable and you can only get so many every KVK so I'm trying to stack up as many as I can plus the three gold heads are pretty great as well. I am closing in on the 600 bastion quest here for an additional three gold heads which will be great um, so I should get that in the next two days here but I also want to go over my hall of heroes as well so as of right now I have 1.6 million dead However, not all of these count toward my dead in my opinion, mainly because I killed off a lot of Siege. If you didn't check out my video, it's my last video I just published, is killing Siege in order to get a ton of training speed ups, so check out that video if you haven't yet. Um, but I did kill off about 450,000 Siege between T5, T4, and T1, and so minus 450,000, so about 1.15 million dead troops. Mostly T5 infantry, you can see 500,000 T5 infantry here, and so Troops return, I will get a good chunk of infantry back into my lineup, T5 and T4. And so I am excited to get that back because as of right now, my troop count is getting pretty low. Uh, you can see here, I do have 330,000 troops in my hospital currently, but these are my troops I have available as of right now. I'll show you my hospital here. I haven't healed it yet, um, but I do have 330,000 mostly T5 infantry here, and then some archers and cavs there as well. But to get onto the topic of this video, um, what I'm going to be doing with my account after this KVK, and I have decided I am going to be migrating. I do have all my passports ready. I did buy 40 passports from the Alliance shop. You can see right here, I did spend a ton of currency. I had over 30 million Alliance credits that I used to buy a ton of passports. So you can see right here, I bought 40 passports. Um, so that's why I always recommend saving up currency, just because you never know if you're going to need to um, migrate to another kingdom or if you want to get VIP or whatever you're going to get from the Alliance shop. Um, you want to make sure you have the credits to do so, so make sure you're always trading in your stuff here that you don't use. Um, I always trade in my Ethel heads just because I already have her expertise and I get tons of them every single day. So I trade those in every day for more currency. But as of right now, I'm at 7.18 million. Um, I'm going to try to get up to 30 million again, whether it's to spend on VIP. Uh, hopefully not passports, because I, I hate having to migrate all the time. This is, will be my, my fifth migration, I believe. And so I'd rather just find one kingdom and stay there, mainly because I want to spend my currency on things that are going to further my account more, like speed ups, VIP, 
things that are a little bit more beneficial, teleports especially. Um, so I'd rather spend my, my currency on something a little more beneficial in that way. The reason why I will be migrating is mainly because this kingdom, as great as 2368 has been in the previous KVKs, we just have a, a lot of tired leadership that just is tired of leading all the time, um, which is totally understandable. I've been in leadership in kingdoms and it can be very exhausting. It, it's uh, very time consuming and I totally understand why people don't want to be in leadership anymore. Um, just because, like I said, running a kingdom is very exhausting. Talk to any king, any form of leadership, they will tell you that it is exhausting to run a kingdom, to be in charge of all the events and all the planning of KVK and all that kind of stuff, allies, uh, diplomacy, all that kind of stuff. It's very exhausting, very tiring. And so most of our leadership decided that they be migrating. And so I will be actually migrating with a majority of our leadership into an AC kingdom. They are almost undefeated in KVKs. They have only lost one KVK and that was their last KVK in which they were in a 3v5 fighting against two Imperium Kingdoms. And so, without further ado, I will be migrating to 2247. You can see here, I have migrated my farms there already. All but one of my farms are in 2247 here. So you can see all these farms have been there gathering resources. So I'm gonna be heading over to one of my farms here and kind of show you guys around that kingdom because that's where I will be bringing my account shortly. And so I will open up my farm here. Like I said, I did move these accounts over a little while ago when I decided I wasn't moving to this kingdom. And like I said, I do have a large group of people that I did migrate here with and will be migrating here with. But you can see here, I have been here long enough to gather a little bit of gold, some food. And I did bring up two more of my accounts up to City Hall 25, which is amazing. Um, that will allow me to get into KVK as well. So you can see here, I have two more farms at level 25 and then I have the rest at level 23. So I will be getting these all up to level 25. So these are the two that I will be sending resources from to my main. And then I have these three that I will be trying to get into uh, level 25. So you can see I have a gatherer coming back already. I've been trying to be as active uh, as I can on these accounts just to help with Alliance currency as well, donating to technology whenever I can, making sure we're, we're getting that tech up as much as possible, getting a lot of currency in there for the Alliance but also just trying to stay as active as I can on these accounts to get a lot of resources. So I'll show you guys around this kingdom here. So we will go into the rankings. I'm gonna go into Alliance Power. So you can see here, we have two top alliances. We have uh, 47 IM and 47, I believe that's 47 two um, or 47 II, I'm not quite sure. Um, but we have the infamous Mirage and infamous Immortals. So I believe we are gonna be in 47 two. I believe that's where some of my other migrants are right now. And so this is the alliance that I believe I will be going into. Um, you can see here we are just over 10 billion power with 154 members in there. Um, and so I will kind of just scroll through here. We do have uh, 157 million whale right there. Um, I wonder if we have any other bigger whales. We do have a lot of T5 in this alliance, as you can see, a couple T4, but uh, majority of T5 or near T5 players, which is amazing. And then I will go over to 47 IM here. So you can see here, KVK 1, 2, 3, and 4 winners. Um, like I said, they are 4 and 1 in KVK, and so very, very good leadership, very good kingdom. Um, they are in Osiris League as well. They were Season 5 Top 16, which is amazing. I'm super excited to play Ark of Osiris with them. I'm not sure if I'll even be good enough to make it to their Osiris League team, um, but that'll be super exciting to be a part of in this kingdom. Um, you can see here we do have 3 stars in this alliance. I go to Alliance members here. We do have a little more whales in this one. Um, a lot of high power T5, which is amazing. Um, and then I will show you guys the individual rankings here as well. So individual power. You can see Bad Stats Aria is the biggest uh, whale here at 157 million. Take a look at her account, 1.2 billion kill points here. Um, so you can see we do have, let's see, we got 17 people over 100 mil and then 18 is almost over 100 mil so quite a few people over 100 million power and then quite a few more over 90 million power as well i'll see where i will be as of right now i'm at 70 million power and currently i believe i'm ranked in the top 30 in 2368 and here be in the top 150 so a lot more power here in 2247 so super excited to be here um you can see cine pride right here that i'm uh, that has already migrated to 2247 from 2368. 
we'll go ahead and look at Alliance kills, see what our kill points are at. So you can see 47 IM is at 184 billion kill points, 47 2 is at 153 billion. We'll look at the individual kills as well. So you can see Black Blood here, 9.4 billion, absolutely insane. Uh, we have quite a few over 5 billion as well. Shorzy migrated from 2368 as well. Um, so a lot of really good killers here in this kingdom, as you would expect from a kingdom that is 4-1 and one in KVK and a part of Osiris League in the top 16, um, which is pretty amazing. So I'm super, super excited to join this kingdom and be a part of the kingdom in the future. Super excited for the first KVK that I'll be playing with them. I know that we are going to be taking as many breaks as we can from KVK to get the migrants ready for the KVK, which is pretty awesome that they're doing that for us because um, they do have a pretty good pretty big migration coming in as well. All right, and to finish off this video, I just wanted to thank 2368 and all the members of the kingdom. I've really appreciated my time here and I love each and every one of you. I hope that you continue to support me even though I won't be a part of this kingdom anymore. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be leaving, a lot of you guys are gonna be staying, so I'm super excited to see how you guys do in the future in KVKs. I will be supporting you guys from 2247. If any of you guys are wanting to come over, you guys, if you guys are under 25 million power, feel free to migrate over and join us in 2247. I'm super excited to be a part of that kingdom, and like I said, I was very, very happy to be a part of 2368. It's been a, it's been a blast. I've spent a majority of my time as a YouTuber here in 2368. And so I've appreciated all the support and all the fighting that we've done together in 2368. So to all of you guys who I've spent the last couple months here in 2368, really appreciate you guys. Love each and every one of you. And so that's going to wrap up the video here. Thank you guys for checking in and getting an update on my account. I'm super excited to be migrating and I will be trying to be posting more on just kind of tips and tricks back to what I originally started posting about. Um, so stay tuned for those videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for checking in.